This is Mel from Bengal Whisper. Welcome to Bengal Whisper. Hi, this is Mel from Bengal Whisper. Welcome to Bengal Whisper. Today I'm going to talk about food and food allergies. So as you can see the animals they always eat their food with a lot of love and they kind of focus and meditate on their food so when they are eating food and looking for food they are totally into it and they are not disturbed by other outside elements or any kind of other things so when they are eating they are totally devoted to their food so they appreciate their food and they enjoy their food so it is easy for them to digest their food but on the other hand humans humans many of the humans have problem with food allergies and digesting food or being able to eat different kinds of food so the total relationship with food that's the today's topic and humans have really um, totally destroyed the relationship with food how human have destroyed the relationship with food is previously humans spent all their day hundreds of years ago all their day just hunting and looking for food and they were hunter and gatherer so they would hunt food and gather food whole day entire day so the entire day they will have the physical exercise for gathering food as just like animals do they would whole day look for food they gather food and then they eat it so basically they work for the food in gathering but um, as humans we are especially in today's day and age we just sit and do our work on the computers and then we wait for the food and we sit and eat our food and then we sleep so basically and some people do get out and get 30 minutes of exercise or go to the gym some people don't even do that so basically our total relationship with food and change the hunter gatherers they hunted they gathered leaves and whatever they could find fruits and berries and they hunted animals whatever they ate and then they brought them and did some minimum cooking and their cooking was basically just roasting in the fire and initially they did not have even spices or salt or definitely not man-made process oil so human just brought their foods and some of them raw some of them cook half cook somehow and they ate it and then after some time when they were sleepy they just went to sleep as soon as it was dark because there was no electricity so as we can see the things change so much so no wonder we cannot digest our food and we have all sorts of diseases in our body because if you look at it hundreds of years back and you see how human has totally cause their own distraction they have built the path of their own distraction as with the development of the technology humans have become more 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 sitting down not going anywhere not doing anything just sitting 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 working and that just came to their health all this sitting down and not doing anything and hundred years ago when even farming started when humans started
up becoming the hunter gatherer they started farming and growing their fruits and vegetables and having farms and animals and raising animals that was even a lot of work a lot of chores it's a little bit organized than what previously was and a little bit more availability of fruits even in hard times like winter so up to that improvement it was great so if you see but basically where we did too much of development and improvement that's what destroyed us and so humans if they want to be able to eat anything digest everything then they need to look at the animals so the animals are in nature and they're just roaming around and finding their food and they always eat uh, what is for them they do not eat anything else like suppose the if i see a squirrel and the squirrel is eating whatever the squirrel is supposed to eat the squirrel is not going around and eating something which is isn't supposed to eat same way we see the goats or the cow or the cat or the dog they all eating what they're supposed to eat and they usually don't eat anything else except what they are supposed to eat unless they are pets in home and human got the pets used to a wrong kind of foods so that's when the pets get sick so all the diseases actually related to the wrong way of eating wrong time of eating wrong time of sleeping so if we can see our relationship with the food we have destroyed so now the question is how can we make it better we need to look at the animals and same way first we need to eat the food we are supposed to eat fruits or vegetables we're supposed to eat that we're not supposed to be killing animals and eat them uh, i don't think humans can digest animals that well humans are meant to eat fruits and vegetables because most of the animals eating everything whatever is in nature uh, animals are not really cooking and changing the flavor or hiding the reality but humans we try to deceive our senses like if we put a plate of raw chicken in front of a human the human will not be able to eat it because that will be raw and blood and smell and it's not appetizing at all but then if we fool our senses and we're taking that chicken and cooking with a lot of spices and oil and this that and making it really tasty and then we're eating so we're actually fooling our senses but animals in the wilderness does not do that they do not fool their system uh, their senses because if you throw a piece of meat or a bread or anything towards a dog dog will definitely come and smell it smell it feel it then taste a little bit and see what it is and if it didn't like it it will eat it but if it did like then it will go on and eat it so animals actually know better than human and whenever we human bring animal in our home and feed them wrong kind of food and keep them in wrong environment they get sick so we have to be more like animals trust on our senses and eat fruits and vegetables eat in time and do the physical exercise daily and also trust on our senses so we see smell tasting then eating and try to avoid all man-made machine-made package frozen and uh, factory made foods believe more or trust more on natural foods try to grow our own food and eat that way so that will build a better relationship with the food long long years back when yogis ate 
and when the time was to eat their meals they would sit down in total peace and quiet and serenity and then they will uh, have their meal in front of them and before they had their meal they will provide the meal to the god when they did the prayer ceremony and then they will pray to the god giving the meal so the meal is blessed while praying and then after that they will take that meal and they will take that meal with greater respect and towards the food and they will peacefully sit slowly chew their food and enjoy and appreciate every bite of it and they did not have the distraction of all the TVs and cell phones and all the latest technology which is here just to destroy us they did not have all those things they would just sit and totally enjoy the food every bite of it and then after they eat their food then after some time after 30 minutes they will take a big container of water and drink up the whole water and throughout the day they eat only two times one time early in the morning which is called breakfast breaking the fasting and they eat usually six o'clock in the evening before dark so it's two times so they eat around seven in the morning seven in the evening or six in the morning six in the evening so 12 hours gap in this 12 hours they drank water and work around and they did not have tea coffee cookies crackers all this junk so if we look at it the way we have made our lifestyle now and that is the reason for all our food allergies and intolerance and all kinds of diseases so we need to get back to the habit of praying appreciating respecting food also i have noticed many people who has developed food allergies they have shown greatest amount of disrespect towards food and they are very angry and they have thrown their food and this caused them not to be able to digest any kind of food so in order for them to be able to digest their food again they need to develop a beautiful relationship with food and with themselves and with God so if they do that develop relationship with three things with food and with their own bodies and with God and just go back to hundreds years back and start watching what the people did and that will improve their health and their tolerance toward food significant amount so I'm going to do another big video on this later but right now I just wanted to show that what actually caused our food intolerances and all the diseases it actually caused by us so thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video and i will see you with many many more hi thank you so so much for watching my videos don't forget to like subscribe